Yo, just hanging in the basement. There's a thread on Facebook about tie-ins coming out of leather bags. And, um, and the person on Facebook whose tie-in came out is going back to synthetic pipe bags. Um, synthetic pipe bags are great, but using it because you can't get a leather tie-in doesn't make any sense. Hide bags give you a better tone, and uh, you shouldn't go away just because of logistical issues. Now watch. This tie-in here. I can use all my strength in the entire world to try to wrench this tie-in away from the stock, and it will never, ever, ever come out. Okay, uh, those of you who follow Dojo U know that one of the tests I like to do is to blow this bag up, cork it up, and literally kneel up and down on it with all of my weight, which is significant. These tie-ins never, ever, ever come out. I test the tie-in as well, you know, like fairly frequently, it never comes out. So uh, don't abandon a hide bag because you can't get it tied on well. Learn to tie it on properly, or better yet, uh, bring it to someone who knows what they're doing. Uh, because you're missing out on the glory of hide if you give up just because tying in a bag is difficult. So uh, let's leave it there for now. Okay, so um, the issues that we had last time, squidginess in the uh, blowing. Uh, I'm gonna pop in the easy drones today. I feel a little bit dirty. I actually was on the cane drone reads for a really long time uh, as I got going with the Inverary setup. So I'm, I've just sort of been trying to study and get into cane for a while. Today I'm just gonna pop in some easy drones and see if I can't get the drones lock in a little bit better. Uh, and you know, start to just address some of the squidginess in the playing a little bit. Uh, what else do we have? Burls, always working on those. Uh, I'm gonna try to just play some stuff uh, during my warm up today with some burls in them. And then as far as the snatchiness in the playing goes, I will uh, attempt another MSR here today once everything's warmed up and I've got the easy drones going. So that's my game plan. And uh, let's see how today's performance turned out. <laughs> The pipes are soaking right now. Here's what was cooking overnight. Ooh, pork carnitas. Now that looks like a mess. That was in the slow cooker all night though. I'm gonna pull that pork apart, put it under the broiler and it makes amazing, you know, relatively, sorry, I cut myself off there. It makes relatively uh, healthy protein for lunches. Cause you know, we cut most of the fat off that meat. So it's just stewing in all those good ingredients. Uh, one of the rituals I had all last year was actually to get the stove preheated while I get my pipes warmed up. That way the frying pan is hot so I can make a couple of eggs for breakfast. And today I'm going to see if all this practice, if I can finally do the egg flip without screwing it up under pressure. This is thematic by the way. It's like, can I play bagpipes under pressure? Maybe, but can you flip an egg under pressure? It's pretty hard to do. I promise you, I could do this every time when not under pressure. Can I perform today? Okay, start with a little salt and pepper. They're not nearly ready to flip yet. A little bit of salt like on top of the yolk there. Looks good. A little bit of pepper there. Now, you know, obviously, there's a few key techniques, a few key things that you need with the flip. First of all, you need the egg to be moving around a little bit. It needs to not be stuck on the bottom. So we have that right now. That's looking good. But you have to wait until there's enough substance there on the bottom in order to pull off the flip. You see what I mean? I'm already kind of overthinking it a little bit. Then when you flip it, we're going to kind of push it out, see how the egg is going to get flipped up. But then you need just enough, you need just enough wrist action. You need just enough wrist action in order to get the egg over. And that's the over part, I think, of like over easy or over medium or whatever. Okay, what do we think? Let's do this. Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Flip. Oh, not perfect. Not perfect. See how we have a little fold over there? However, it's going to have to be good enough. Okay, uh, I'm going to let my eggs cool down just really quickly. Let's see how the pipe is progressing. <laughs> 